Are you ready for the summer? Are you ready for the good times? Ruby the rabbit, Ruby the rabbit, rabbit, Rudy the rabbit. This one goes out to the subway girls. Victoria and I were just talking about a route we generally take and, and if we've got other people in the car, we'll stop at the subway. And we always have other people in the car. We go in there and the first thing I do is I walk through To the toilets, I take a pee, come out, make sure that the order, they know what I want, whatever, I, they know, and uh, I go out and I smoke a cigarette. Watch the highway against the setting sun. And maybe do a video. And then I go back in. They, they, they're making the stuff. They're doing a good job and all that. And I go in in time to pay. And uh, who's not me always. But I, if I get in there in time, if they don't beat me out to the car with all the food because they were so fast, um, I go in and pay and I'll say, ha, 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 ha. I just act natural, you know? Of course, I'm going to have to talk to people. And like the last time we went there, um, I'd gone in, same thing. And when I was already out, and they went in and the girl at the counter said, that's our meatball guy. And they started talking. And she says, why don't we ever see him? He's in here at the beginning. And he's in here at the end. And it's just like, ah. And they're just so happy. And I, ha, ha, ha. And I'm, it's because I'm out smoking. They make the food, I take care of the other business. They would like to be having a smoke with their meatball guy. And uh, then they offered the step Danny a job quietly to Victoria. She hey, how old is she? She wanna work here? So I'm making people feel comfortable enough with the fam that uh, they're getting offered jobs, you know. That sounds like a simple story to tell. Like it's just bah, no meaning to it whatsoever. But when we thought about that, talked about it, I thought about it, I realized it's all it fucking takes, man. Just walk into a place as a regular person and talk to people and it brings joy into their fucking menial task. We're all fucking serving each other, man. Every one of us is a cog in this fucking thing. Yeah. And as I say, it makes it easier as long as you can stay out of the shit. What are you willing to give up, you know? I like to know when I'm gonna be able to sleep without somebody fucking uh, creeping in the front door of the cave and fucking beating me to death with a flame and fucking log that was in my fire. I've got a lot to give. I can take it.
I realize every one of us can walk in and have a good time with other people. Yet most of us choose to just go out and take that joy and turn it into rage. This stuff all comes back, man. You're sending those people home angry. They're getting home and they're fucking angry and people, what's the matter? I know something's wrong. And he says, there's nothing fucking wrong, I told you. And I know there's something wrong. I know, just shut the fuck up. I told you, yeah, there was something wrong. What? Yeah, and then and she's forlorn and she takes and maybe she drives through the old depot in fucking Johannesburg around that curve and kills people like it happened. Woman that was mentally unstable. All it took was one person coming and giving her shit too many times. And she drives through a restaurant and kills people that we know. And the reporters come up like vultures. Why don't you go back to the old days where you could say, yeah, I fucking... I didn't vote for him. Or, yeah, I voted for him, but geez. Turns out I might have been wrong on this one. Hey, you know, it's just like... Uh, We're not enjoying ourselves enough anymore. And all this shit is still piled up on us. Nothing's getting any clearer.